I'm Mrs Mitchell. I'm from Glasgow and I've been teaching for 30 years. I'm really happy to have been part of creating the Scottish Online Lessons resources. Hopefully it will help you look back, catch up, practice skills and even learn something completely new. You can work at your own pace and today's lesson is on poetry. It took me a long time to make because I had to learn all about onomatopoeia first, which I now love. Good luck with today's lesson. Bye bye. Hi, this is Mrs Mitchell from Scottish Online Lessons. This is a writing lesson focusing on writing a poem, including onomatopoeia. Let's look at the learning intentions. To be able to plan a simple poem, including examples of onomatopoeia, and to be able to give examples of onomatopoeia. Let's now look at the success criteria. I can give examples of onomatopoeia and I can write a simple poem, including examples of onomatopoeia. Now, if you focus on the success criteria today and you are able to do all of these things, then you will be successful in your learning. Poetry. Poetry can be fun and silly, meaningful, expressive, interesting and informative. Poetry can be found in lots of places, including cards, comics and jokes. Today, our lesson is going to focus on being able to plan a simple poem, including examples of onomatopoeia, and to be able to give examples of onomatopoeia. There are many different types of poems and many different features to poetry, like rhyme, rhythm, alliteration, onomatopoeia, how you lay out your poem, your use of capitals and commas, and your reason for writing. You might have a message, you might want to have fun, you might want to share your feelings, or you might be full of nonsense. So let's hear some poems. On the left, the first letter in each line spells out poems, and on the right, I've played about with the layout to make it look like a bouncing ball. Poems. Putting your feelings and thoughts out there for others to read. Easy for some, but not for most of us, you see. The ball rolled down the stairs. It bounced as it went down and down. Boing, boing, boing. So today we're going to write poetry using onomatopoeia, a very long word with some very strange spelling and a great big explanation. But don't worry, it's a really fun thing, onomatopoeia. It's when a word describes a sound and actually almost pretends to be the sound when it's spoken. Boom, whoosh, drip, oink. Here's a poem about onomatopoeia. Oh, onomatopoeia, what a funny word. It almost sounds ridiculous. It really is absurd. It means a word that names a noise, like drip or twit to woo. It makes a picture in your head of what the sound is too. Oh, onomatopoeia. I've used commas in this poem as part of the layout. My poem definitely has rhyming words, word and absurd, twit to woo and too. There's a rhythm when you read it, and it definitely has a message. Oh, onomatopoeia, what a funny word. It almost sounds ridiculous. It really is absurd. It means a word that names a noise, like drip or twit to woo. It makes a picture in your head of what the sound is too. Let's match. Let's find out more about onomatopoeia. We have some meanings and some examples of onomatopoeia. A cow in a field, sneezing. Strong wind, fire engine, doorbell, and howl, ding dong, moo, a chew, and nino. You should be able to tell by the sound of the word what its meaning is. Howl, ding dong, moo, a chew, and nino. I want you to match the meanings to the words. Pause the lesson while you do this. Let's look at the first two. So for a cow, the matching word would be moo. And for sneezing, achoo. And for strong wind, howl, 
I think Howl could also be the noise a dog might make. Fire engine, Nino, and doorbell, Ding Dong. Let's use onomatopoeia in a poem about fireworks. Here are some words that sound like the noise they make as they tell us their meanings. Zap, zoom, swoosh, pop, sizzle, crackle, boom, fizz, whiz. And here's the start of a poem. I hear the fireworks in the sky making their noise way up high. And our task will be to try to finish the poem. You can use rhyme to help you and you can use rhythm to help you. I hear the fireworks in the sky making their noises way up high. They say da 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 and then da 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 da. Play about fitting the words in, including some onomatopoeia, to see if you can finish off the last two lines of the poem. Take some time to do this. Play around. Your first few attempts might not work. Keep going. Pause the lesson while you have a try. Now, if you got on well, fantastic. That is wonderful. But if you find it a wee bit challenging, please don't worry. Let's look through an example together. This is also a way to learn. I hear the fireworks in the sky making their noises way up high. They say sizzle, crackle, boom and fizz and zap, zoom, pop before they whiz. Pause the lesson and read your poem or this poem out to hear the rhyme and rhythm and the examples of onomatopoeia, the words that sound like the noises they make. Let's try one more example. This time we're going down the farm. Here are the words that sound like the noise they make and that tells us their meaning. Crunch, munch, oink, meow, woof, quack, neigh, moo, chug, drip, drop. Chug is the noise of the tractor moving. So we have four lines here and a chance again to write a poem. If you think you might find writing the whole poem challenging, you can copy down this first and last line to give you some help with your structure. I went to the farm and heard Did you hear them too? Pause the lesson if you need to write down the structure to help you. You're going to try and write a poem. You can use rhyme and rhythm like last time or just write down four lines that tell us more about a farm and use some of these fantastic onomatopoeic words in it. Pause the lesson while you do this. Well done. It can take some time to play about with the words and the rhythm and the rhyme to create your own poem. If you're using rhythm and rhyme, I went to the farm and heard oink, quack, moo, nay, chug, woof. Did you hear them too? That's one example of a poem. And in this example, I've used some onomatopoeia and some nonsense. I went to the farm and heard the duck said moo, the pig said woof. Did you hear them too? Onomatopoeia and nonsense. Let's finish our lesson with a bit of nonsense. The rocket bursts up in the night. I scream and shout with all my might. One goes sizzle, one goes boom, one goes whiz and one goes... We have three words to choose from. Examples of onomatopoeia. Zoom, drip, oink. What word do you think I will choose? Pause the lesson if you want some time to think. Did you guess that I would like a bit of nonsense? Zoom was the rhyming word and drip and oink were nonsense choices. I also made my word boom look like it sounds and tried to make my word whiz look like it was getting bigger. The rockets burst up in the night. I scream and shout with all my might. One goes sizzle, one goes boom, one goes whiz and one goes oink. Thank you for working hard on this final task today. Now the lesson is finished, it's time to check your learning. Take a minute to see if you've understood this lesson and have been successful in your learning. Can you give examples of onomatopoeia from our poems today? 
and can you write a simple poem including examples of onomatopoeia? Now let's self-assess using the traffic lights. Take a minute and ask yourself, how did I do today? Did you find this hard? Are you going to try it again? Are you getting there? Just need a bit more practice? Are you feeling confident and ready to learn something new? Well done, you have finished this lesson. If you would like a little more practice, there are some suggested follow-up activities in the box below. You could make a poster of some of the words from our lesson today. Or you could try to make up a poem about food or cooking using our firework and farm words that could describe what was happening. Sizzle, bang, pop. On behalf of Scottish Online Lessons, I, Mrs Mitchell, would like to thank you for working hard on this lesson today and good luck with the rest of your learning.